Well, I I thought it would be appropriate to share my celebration of life with Pete. I knew Pete uh, when he was Petey, and that was back in our high school days. Of course, I was dating Carla, his cousin, and Vito and Joey and I are still good friends to this day. And, you know, Pete and I were sort of the uh, younger uh, semi-musicians at the time, or at least cutting our teeth. And we looked up to uh, Vito and Joey and Larry De Janeiro and all those guys that were what were playing at the time. And, you know, Pete and us, Pete, myself and a few other guys would get together once in a while and do our best. We actually had a band called Captain Flange and the Astral Suppositories. I would think that that would be pretty appropriate for Pete's uh, sense of humor. Now, I hadn't spoken to Pete in many, many, many years, except for the occasional Cleveland Browns comments that I saw on Facebook. And we've all been huge Browns fans. But, you know, uh, Petey and I uh, worked at the, uh, we worked at Thistledown together. You know, John Sanfilippo got me the job because I was dating Carla. And, 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 and we had the greatest time. We had about three years of just playing music, <laughs> You know, and doing what uh, teenagers do and young adults. I remember having a band, doing a jam with him at a big party that we had at Ohio State. He got lost, ended up halfway to Cleveland and had to come back. And he uh, came in the middle of one of our songs. We were playing Freeway Jam by Jeff Beck. And it was just me, a bass player and a keyboard player. <laughs> and Pete was frantically setting up his uh, his amplifier And uh, I got to say, that was, you know, a lot of carefree time that we spent uh, as friends. And, uh, you know, 100% cherish that relationship, you know, with that whole Sicilian family and all the relatives and everything and all the people that I was able to maintain a relationship with and that formulated a lot of who I am today, which is basically a kid at heart with a drum set in a garage. Well, I got a family and a job and a wife, but I still have my lizards, my drum set, and I'm still in the garage. Pete, see you next lifetime. Let's put together a band. We could start off playing Stratus, Billy Cobham, and some early Genesis, which I'm sure you were a huge fan of because I do recall that. But you didn't like any of the uh, the Phil Collins stuff. I do remember that as well. But anyway, here's to you, buddy. I take a toke of a joint, but I don't smoke anymore. Cheers. And heartfelt condolences to everybody.